Hey everybody, Captain Alter here, and you're watching Linda the Gamer Girl. Hey guys, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and because I'm missing snow, not driving in the snow, but missing snow right at the present moment, we're going to talk about my five favorite snowboarding games. So let's get started. Shred it! Coming in at number five is Cool Borders 2001. Cool Borders started off at PS1, and I had almost all the games for Cool Borders, and I loved the style and the graphics at the time. It was in between. It was a little bit of 1080 snowboarding meets SSX, where you had different things you had to hit. So if you were going through something, you had to pick up different things, and you had to go through gates and stuff like that. And then when you were in a jam and somebody was close to you, you were a little able to tap them. It wasn't like aggressive, but it still knocked them over a little bit. And you build up points by doing tricks. The greatest scores got you new courses, new players, and it had a soft spot in my heart because it was one of the first snowboarding games that I ever played when PS1 came out. Now, the reason why it's at number five is because of the simple fact that they had not built upon anything or changed anything. And also, there is a point in the game where every single person that hits Giz does this, ah, uh, which is really annoying when you hit them every time. Now, if that wasn't so repetitive, it probably would have been in a different spot, but that's the reason why it's at number five. Coming in at number four is Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarding. Now I have to say that this one I did not pick up until later on when I was about in high school because for PS2 I was trying any game and trading them in and getting new games but this is the same developer that was for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games so I had to pick it up because of the simple fact that I love Tony Hawk's games and if it's the same developer you're gonna have a great game also. So this came out in 2001 around the same time and it also was on the GBA and Game Boy Color, but it was also the first couple of snowboarding games that had more than just the normal, you know, characters. It had a few pros that were not in any other snowboarding game, like Sean White for the first time was actually in a snowboarding game, so I had to pick it up. But the one thing that made me sad was it literally is the same engine, same mechanics to the T. So if they had changed it up just a little bit, I would have loved this game a lot more because of the simple fact that it, it literally, if you put Tony Hawk and you put Sean's game right next to each other, you would see the same thing. So if they had maybe built a little bit something different, it would have been not at number four, probably would have been at number one. Coming in at number three is Evolution Snowboarding. Evolution Snowboarding is done by Konami and it came out in 2002. This one was a little bit different than the normal snowboarding game. You actually were fighting people more than you were worrying about tricks and doing rails and getting down the slope the fastest. You literally had to defeat bosses before the race was over to get down and complete the run because if you did not defeat them by knocking them out before they got to the end, they still technically won even though you won the race. On top of battling, you had to collect different items throughout the race, which was an also added bonus. The reason why it is at number three is because of the clunky fighting mechanics. If your whole game is based off of fighting, why would you make it so hard to fight? <laughs> so that was the only reason why it's at number three. I love the ingeniousness of fighting in snowboard. But if they would have made it so much better with the fighting, it probably would have been number two. Coming in at number two is SSX, the very first one. SSX came out on 2000 and it was the very first in the franchise. One of the best in my opinion as far as it hit rails really good. So many characters like Elise Riggs was in there. You racked up combos. You had so many chances to do extreme combos that were never thought of and put them together. Kind of like Tony Hawk where you literally just button mash and you could just and throw and they were just going to town. So that was the reason why I liked SSX. It was cartoony, but not so cartoony that you were like, really? 
we're gonna do that so that's why it is at number two but it could have been number one if the slowdown wasn't so bad with the frames and the final one is ssx tricky it's tricky to rock around to rock around that's right on time it's tricky ssx tricky came out one year after the very first one it was added to a really great game boost bar uber moves if you spelled out tricky you got infinite boost and they even had lucy lou in the game they were trying so hard to get this game the best it could be make everything the way it was and i agree there was no con for this game in my opinion because of the fact that it was really really adding on to a great franchise and making it 10 times better and they didn't go so far off of the beaten path to try something different but they didn't make it exactly a carbon copy of the first one so that's why it's at number one so that was my top five what are some of your favorite snowboarding games and if you made it to the end type in your favorite tricky move that you used to do for uber moves so thank you for watching if you're new hit the sub button doesn't hurt you or maybe i don't know the way ooh, you know youtube has been <laughs> but i'm gonna leave that alone because uh youtube's probably watching me and i don't want to get in trouble by the principal so thank you guys i'll definitely catch you in the next video so have a good one it's tricky to rock around to rock around a right all right it's tricky 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 linda the gamer girl she's here she's playing games linda the gamer girl she's here she's playing games